just look at the problem once again okay this green color path is completely question okay we have a right angle triangle in the right angle triangle this length is p and the hypotenuse length is 2 root 2 p as given and then one angle is a pi by 8 other angle is b pi by 8 also given they ask us to find b minus a that's a separate part okay for that just i am taking the solution diagram by indicating these two as x and y okay just i am taking these two as x and y that's it and after that yeah if you apply for this lower triangle sin of a pi by 8 Opposite side by hypotenuse. Sin of a pi by 8 means opposite side is p, hypotenuse is x, so p, a, p by x. And for the total triangle, if you apply sin of a pi by 8, opposite side is y, and the hypotenuse is 2 root 2 p, so y by 2 root 2 p. From this lower triangle, sin of a pi by 8, from the total triangle, sin of a pi by 8, if you apply, you will get xy is equal to 2 root 2 p square, that's one part. And then on the other part, apply Pythagorean theorem, x square plus y square is equal to hypotenuse square. We have x square plus y square is 8p square. So add these two. Adding in the sense, just calculate x plus y whole square and x minus y whole square. x plus y whole square is x square plus y square plus 2xy. And x minus y whole square is x square plus y square minus 2xy. So 8p square plus 2 into this value is 4 root 2p square. And 8p square minus 2 into this value is 4 root 2p square. And you just divide these two x plus y whole square by x minus y whole square is equals to if you divide these two p square will get cancelled then you left with 8 plus 4 root 2 by 8 minus 4 root 2 and again just to common root 4 and get cancelled 2 plus root 2 by 2 minus root 2 since it is x plus y by x minus y whole square this side again you just make it as something whole square so just you multiply 2 plus root 2 with both numerator and denominator the numerator is 2 plus root 2 whole square and the denominator is 2 plus root 2 into 2 minus root 2 which is 2. Okay. And now just remove the square. You will get that x plus y by x minus y is equals to 2 plus root 2 by root 2. And now you need to apply componendo and dividendo rule. Which in the sense, both sides in the numerator, numerator plus denominator by numerator minus denominator we need to take. Okay. Here x plus y and here x minus y. Add these two, you will get 2x. Add these two, you will get 2 plus 2 root 2. And coming to the denominator, this numerator minus denominator you need to write, which is 2y. This numerator minus denominator you need to write, which is 2. Okay? See, you can you use this component and dividend rule for different problems in trigonometry also. Alright? And now at the end, here you have by cancelling 2x by y. And there just cancel 2, you get 1 plus root 2. x by y is 1 plus root 2. From there, you have that. Yeah, what is tan of a pi by 8? Okay, tan of a pi by 8 is actually what? Tan of a pi by 8 is opposite side by hypotenuse. Opposite side is y, uh, opposite side by adjacent side, okay? Opposite side is y, adjacent side is x, and that is y by x. So, tan of a pi by 8 is y by x, and you have x by y. So, that x by y is simply nothing but cot of a pi by 2, okay? I need to take it as cot, okay? Cot of a pi by 2. And that cot of a pi by 2 is equal to 1 plus root 2. So you need to think about the values of that cot. Okay. Pi by 8 is how much? 22 and of degrees. Cot 22 and of degrees is 1 plus root 2. And that's why a value is directly 1. So at the end for this problem, you get that a value as 1. So this angle is pi by 8. Since this angle is pi by 8, you will get this angle as what? 3 pi by 8. So your value of b is 3. After having b and a, you will get the value of b minus a as 2 directly. Okay? Just think about the problem once again.